All right, so here we are. So this is the Stay Put Nick 2. Now, one of the mods I am working with is KOS. Uh, by no means a uh, is this mod necessary, but I thought it'd be a fun thing to kind of add. So I'm trying to automate as much as I can with this. Let's uh, get this going. Now, I should be collecting. I got to keep an eye on my... Okay, I got two, uh, three hours of electric charge, so that should be okay. But I should be collecting... It's waiting. Oh, okay, maybe I've already gotten a mystery goo, so maybe I should turn that off. Oh, we'll see. Maybe I already, I must have done it with the plane. That could be it. Anyway, uh, I do have a program, if I go list here, called Orbit, which should make this thing go into orbit. Now, one of the things I had to do is uh, I was getting limited by the part count in the VAB and usually I use smart parts to take care of the staging but I had to take the smart parts off just because my part count was at the maximum so I'm gonna have to do the staging manually but otherwise this thing should just go so I should be able to just run my orbit program and we should just watch this go and it's off so, so far so good uh, still no, I must have done the mystery goo with the airplane. That's why the mystery goo is not running. Yeah, it's saying I got the 4.2 science of the 4.2 science. Radiation scan has done the light experiment. You have to be into orbit for it to work. So, okay. So none of those experiments are going to run just yet. That's okay. We'll keep an eye on them. But I, what I do have to do is watch my staging. And watch my Apple Wapses. But I believe what this program does is it follows what I think is a sensible ascent profile until it gets to uh, 80 kilometers. I think. Okay, so I just gotta get ready to stage here. There we go. So I did that part manually, and again, the rest of this. And again, because I'm working with limited tech, I do not have much of attitude control. This is a gimbaled engine on the bottom, but other than that, there is no attitude control. There's no reaction wheels, there's no RCS, there's no nothing. So um, yeah, that's just kind of what it is. So getting some sort of control would be absolutely, especially once we're in orbit. That's one of the reasons why I unlocked that one Techno, because I saw those little small engines like the Ant engine and the Spider engines, and building some sort of orbital orbiter, I think, would be really useful. Okay, we are collecting some science now. I see the radiation scan being collected. We are in the upper atmosphere, that's why that's happening. The mystery goo is turned on again, because the plane can't get this high. Yeah, uh, No Mercy is saying that he's he's played with the same collections of mods and is finding that he's getting science starved. Yeah, that that could be a problem. I might end up. Oh, there that worked. I might end up uh, doing some sort of modification as we move on because I am worried about getting star uh, science starved uh, with 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 the current tech tree. I do agree. And I also am worried about contracts and not getting enough contracts and getting cash strapped as well. All right, I got to pay attention to what I'm doing because this is done and I'm going to have to circularize manually. And I have no, as you can see, um, I still got the tier one tracking station. So I'm going to need to be watching this. Now I can keep an eye on this vertical descent. This will give me an idea of how close I am to apoapsis, but I am going to have to start giving this guy some throw. I think I'm going to do a quick save here because I don't trust myself. Okay, and I'm going to give myself a little bit of throttle because I need that for the attitude control. I'm going to put myself down towards the horizon. And now I'm going to give myself more throttle. And I don't want my apoap to get too high so I'm kind of watching my apoapsis so that's why I'm pitching down a little bit I think I need more throttle I'm keeping that apoapsis I, I can cut throttle except now as soon as I cut throttle I lose attitude control 
I'm just gonna keep a teeny tiny amount of throttle just so I can steer. Probably started that burn a little bit too early. I suppose that's better than the other way around. Just gonna keep the burn really low. Not using oh whoa, I'm gonna be careful. Um oh no, I got a lot of fuel. I should be good. But I just worry if I cut throttle completely, I'm just gonna be spinning all around and then I gotta burn more fuel to get it back pointed the right direction. So I'm just gonna keep kinda doing this. And I'm just looking at that periapsis, and when that periapsis gets above 70, I'm calling it. Oh, the light experiment is done. I think the experiments are running well. I'm not even looking at that. Could have started that burn a little later. I gotta make sure I leave myself there. Cut. I leave myself enough fuel to, to be able to get this back down. Okay, so what's happening here? The mystery goo is running. Um, I gotta be a little careful with electricity. The mystery goo is taking up a fair amount of electricity there. I can see I only got about 24 minutes left, but I'm thinking it's probably gonna be okay. It's going to take about another nine minutes to run. I'm going to do a little time warping here. Do I have enough power for the materials bay? I think you're talking about the uh, the mystery goo, but I think so. I got 23 minutes here. Of course, what I'm going to be doing, because I'm running into this issue, is with ground stations, I am going to be running out of electricity or running out of signal because that ground station that I picked up here didn't work did not work okay how are we doing I still got 22 minutes of electricity I would have put more batteries on here but I was right at the park count limit I do not have any solar panels unlocked yet so that's another issue got seven minutes left on the mystery goo I think we're okay oh we just lost our signal but the mystery goo is still running the mystery goo should still be running um, and it'll probably be all collected by the time we get another signal no worries no worries thought I had the bay I'm not unlocked the bay yet just the goo now I, I notice as soon as I lose the signal I have no information about this craft so if I come back and this thing's out of electricity I'm gonna be a little upset <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to come all the way around again because the whole that goo's worth nothing to me if I can't uh, if I can't transmit it okay we're coming back around over the KSC okay got a signal yeah I think we do do oh no am I out of electricity no, 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 I still don't have a signal, I don't think. Or is it that? Oh, 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 oh. How are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? Still got an hour and a half left. We're fine. We're fine. And I think, yes, the mystery goo collected during that time. But now what I got to do is get that mystery goo back down to the surface. So the plan here, the plan here, again, no attitude control. I got to give myself... Let's see, if I let it tumble a little bit, will it get kind of close to where the retrograde vector is? It's kind of tumbling in the wrong direction, isn't it? It is. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to do it here. So I'm going to give myself a little throttle. I'm going to move towards retrograde. Like so. My periapsis is already well into the atmosphere, so I'm doing kind of okay. And I think I'm going to call it there. So I got my periapsis down to 10 kilometers. And I guess... No, let's hang on to these batteries as long as I can. Do I have the ability to move electricity? I don't think you can move electricity, can you? I wish you could, but you can't. I could turn that battery off and just be ready. No, oh, no, that might give me problems. Ah, let's get ourselves closer. Mm 
I just don't want this battery to go dry and once I stage that's the only battery I get so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stage just as we get to the atmosphere hello L2T1 and welcome okay we have gone over our apoapsis and we are coming back down do not have much of an idea of where we're gonna be coming down But hopefully we'll be coming down somewhere. Well, I think we'll be coming down in the ocean given the trajectory we're at. So I should probably have gone a little further. I'm going to just go a little further. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. That's the atmosphere. Let's stage. Turn this battery on. Oh, good. That worked. <laughs> and... We are now on our way down with our precious, precious cargo. And hopefully this will all work. We just lost our connection, but that should be okay. The parachute's already armed. And as amazing as it sounds, this thing does seem to be passively stable, as in it will orient itself on the retrograde vector and when I tested this there's no more electricity okay when I tested this um, in simulation mode this teeny tiny uh, little heat shield for whatever reason seemed to protect everything so <laughs> hopefully that'll just happen again Hopefully that'll just happen again. Resource transfer comes after an upgrade. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. I'm seeing issues with the heat shield. I'm hoping that's... I can see the thermal... I think that's on a heat shield? I'm not sure. I do see a little thermal gauge there. It's not encouraging. You can see Africa looming. But I don't think we'll make it there. I hope not anyway. I do want to... Uh, I do want to land in the water. Okay, okay. The worst seems to be over. Well, that is good. And honestly, like... I think my next investment should be... Yeah, okay. The, uh... We seem to be past the worst of everything. Or a little, little pale. This is our first... First recovery from space, first stuff to go into space and come back with its bounty of science. I see all kinds of notifications coming up here. That was just that the vessel got completed. We have a stage being destroyed, of course. Yep. What's this one? Contract complete. Haul the Mark 16 parachute into flight over. I forgot that was even there. Okay. I'm happy with that. <laughs> that is cool. Otherwise, yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream, Jay-Z. Uh, got off to a little bit of a rocky start, but everything seems fine now. And I'm at full four times time warp, and this is as fast as she goes down, so. <laughs> All right. And we'll see what we're going to do. One of the things I told myself that I was going to do with this series is, is try and take my time a little bit more, not rush it. Because when I rush it, I start doing dumb things. And I know for some people, they find that entertaining. But play it a little bit more like I would try and play if I had nobody watching is kind of what the plan is going to be. And that means sometimes just going into this without really much of a game plan. Water sure looks nice though, doesn't it? There we go. We're down. Awesome. Okay. 
and we're just doing a normal recovery. That should be a pretty good boatload of science there.